Uh, well, <laughs> I have no makeup, so I'm gonna try this before we even start the haul. Sassy and Chic Color Correction Clean Clean Color Correction Cream. It was the only thing I could see in there that was halfway close to a foundation. That's what it look, looks like. It smells good. <laughs> oh. oh, maybe this will make me go light. Like, it'll be like a highlight. All over highlight. It blends in really well. I wonder if this could be used as like more of a primer. You know, I kind of like this. I can't, I took too much. So, what am I going to do with all this? <laughs> Who needs some crap? Who needs some correction cream? Here, take some, would you guys? Please? <laughs> take some for me. I didn't put any up on the forehead yet. What do we think? Has it done anything? I don't know if it has or not. But I got a lot extra. And I'm out of tissues, so that kind of stinks. Oh, here we go. I found a napkin. Okay, get that up finger. So, I kind of like this. Um, it's not really a foundation, but honestly, like, I, about a year ago, I did a review on the BB cream that I did not like at all. The BB cream was like, um... I felt weird on my face. It like tingled my face. I did. I wasn't really comfortable using that for some reason, and it didn't smell good. This is the same thing. It's sassy and chic. It smells really good. And I got the light. So I would definitely say if you're looking for color correction cream, I don't know what you want to consider this because I'm not a makeup guru. I don't know if this is not. It's not really considered foundation, but this is all I have for this video. So. I don't have any other makeup on, but I just threw that stuff on. So I hope that's okay for you guys today. Hey guys, it's Joanne here. And today I'm going to bring you another Dollar Tree haul. Yay, for Dollar Tree hauls. So stay tuned. Today's trip to the Dollar Tree had two uh, two purposes in mind. First, let me get a drink. The first one was I needed to pick up. I didn't really need anything. Let's just be truthful here. I really didn't need much of anything, but there there was a couple of things that I picked up. My Brim's popcorn etc. Today I went in and I shopped for some items for my son's new house that he's renting. So my son is running, uh, renting a place with a couple of his friends. They're moving in sometime over the next week. So I wanted to put together just a couple of different baskets or containers filled with like everyday stuff that he that as guys they probably wouldn't think of buying for the house so I'm it's still in process I haven't finished loading it up yet but I figured I at least would get started with some stuff that I picked up from the Dollar Tree so that's what I got there today I'll show you that stuff in a minute um, on the list today we needed to get is we needed to get some more my husband needed some more body wash, so I chose to try the Spy House brand uh, Mind and Body. This is the Mountain Fresh scent, and I always sniff, and it does smell really good. So I'm hoping this isn't too drying for his skin. 
I don't know, comment below if you guys have used the spa house before. I think we have, and I don't think the guys have complained about it, so I bought it. I also tried this. Now, this was new that I found at my Dollar Tree. This says if you like Pantene, you'll like this. This is shampoo and conditioner, uh, shampoo and conditioner, so it's a two-in-one product, and it's by the Soft Whisperer brand, and this smells really really good it does smell very similar to the pantene type stuff and it like again this is shampoo and conditioner built in which is my husband pr prefers that combination so that he doesn't have to do two steps so i'm definitely going to try give this give have him give this a try and we and i will uh report back of what he thinks about it the last thing we needed is we needed some more dish detergent dish soap and i chose to go with the palm olive this time i like to change it up I'm a Dove person myself, but every once in a while I like to smell something new, and this is the Tropical Tango Palm Olive. A few things for my kitchen is, uh, and during the holiday season at the Dollar Tree, you tend to find some different special, like only during this time of year, spices. There's a lot, they have a lot of like clove and ginger and, you know, extra cinnamon and cinnamon sugar. There's uh, sage, you know, there, there's a lot of things that are only made for cooking and they're in pretty big containers, or I should say the majority of those spices are used during the holiday time cooking. So if you're looking to stock up for those kind of spices, now is the time to go to the Dollar Tree and, and stock up on those, the, the sage and the thyme and all those spices that aren't that common and pick them up and if the stuff is pretty stale that's in your cupboard, now's the time to refresh. So one of the ones that I found here is the garlic pepper seasoning. I have not seen this up until this holiday season at my Dollar Tree. The, the contents are just salt, sugar, garlic, black pepper, and uh, tricalcium phosphate, which we all know what tricalcium phosphate does. Anyways. I'm thinking this is very similar to, if you guys have ever watched Paula Deen's, I think she has this thing that she calls like house spice, where it's basically salt, pepper, garlic, sugar, or something like that, that she mixes up all the time. So I'm thinking it's something similar to that, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Long story short, why are we drone, Joanne, why are you droning on about spices? I don't know. I also picked up for the office just some hard candies, hostess mix, just something to have at my meeting in my conference room to snack on. A couple of things I got towards my husband's little gift bags for his classroom. My husband's a teacher, for those of you who are new to the channel. And so we always put together like a little Christmas gift bag for them. And so I picked up these two packs of these mini, uh, mini cotton candy, mini candy canes to be able to put in there. They look like they're all, there's a couple of them that might be broken, but that's why I bought two containers of them because I forget, figured whichever ones are kind of broken up, I might put them aside and break them up more and use them in like ice cream or some other type of cookie decorating during the holiday season, but picked up two of those. And I also got myself a pair of Christmas socks. Now I don't normally get these kind of Christmas socks, but I thought this year I would give it a shot because the last attempt I had at buying a pair of Dollar Tree long socks, I don't know if you'll remember that video. I th I'll try to find it and I'll put, I'll link it in the card above. The socks couldn't even fit over my calves. Okay, let's be honest. I have, I'm a big girl, so I have pretty big calves. Let's just put it that way. So if the socks aren't stretchy, but these look like they're stretchy. So look at the ones I got. There's the um, sock size or the size is from a nine to an 11 and it has a little uh, Rudolph that says Noel. I thought these were really cute. So I'm gonna give these a shot and I will maybe do a follow-up review video with some faves and fails, and I'll put this in here to let you guys know how they fit. And that's it for that bag. This bag is gonna be really easy. It's brims, popcorn, and toilet paper. I'm not even gonna take them out. You guys know I eat brims. Why? Because it's Sunday night. What's on Sunday night? The Walking Dead. What do I eat when I watch The Walking Dead? Brims, white cheddar popcorn. Let's continue. Another staple I picked up is my Handles garbage bags. 
I love them. These are the handles. There's ten of them in a, There's ten of them in this bag. Ten of them in this box, and they are vanilla scented. And if you have not had vanilla scented garbage bags, you haven't lived. The other thing I picked up now last week, if you guys remember, in my last week's haul, I hauled my first of the season of the uh, peppermint bark, the big, big containers of peppermint bark. Well, now they have in stock the peppermint bark that are the little tiny smaller containers. If you look carefully, it has the peppermint bark with the chocolate underneath and it, they're individually wrapped. So I'm bringing these to the office and being able to put that out also on like a holiday festive dish to serve up to myself and my clients. Got three of them to start. If you watched last week's haul, you'll notice that I bought a bunch of things for my husband's classroom, but I did not buy the bags because I said I was waiting. I didn't see the, I didn't quite see the bags yet that I was looking for. This week, those bags were here, so I was pretty excited about them, but I loved these. They're kind of like an, um, they're like a vase-shaped bag that has just little twist ties, and I wanted the longer one that, so that it kind of pinches in, that you can spin it because we usually put a couple of candies and stuff down at the bottom and then we also have a pencil in there. So I picked up two, two bags of these. They're 20 count each, so that'll be enough for this year's classroom. Plus, if there's um, any extras or whatever, we'll just put it in our extra bag towards uh, towards next year. Just excited to find that. I also picked up a present for my hubby. I don't know if he's gonna wear it or not, but I got them. They have these adorable Christmas ties. He doesn't wear ties very often for school, but I figured for if he had to dress up or something like that. How cute is that? For a buck. Can you stand it? For one dollar. The other thing I picked up for Christmas is I picked up just one one package of the 25 count gift tags. I thought these were adorable. They have little silver strings on them that you can tape and they say don't open until December 25th. Merry Christmas. Gift for you. And there's some on either side so that makes it the 20 count but I absolutely loved, loved, loved that. So was very happy was very happy to find those a couple more items in here i got a new scrubby for the shower i love this kind of scrubby i don't know if you guys have seen them before but they're the scrubbies they have the little teeny spongy things inside there really like them uh, for my shower love it love it love it and i got pink because i like pink the other thing that i was really excited about and i had seen somebody haul this and i can't remember who hauled something similar to this and i'm i can't remember if it was cheryl coyote or who it was that had hauled it but it's not normally something that i haul but check it out they had in the craft section this yarn i mean look look at how fun this yarn is it has sequins in it and it just kind of has this like fuzzy stuff and just all kinds of deliciousness there are 17 yards in each i picked up two and evidently there is directions inside of here or there's directions step-by-step -step knitting available at and it gives a website i hope the website is open but it says one ball makes one scarf so either i'm gonna attempt to do it or i'm gonna give it to my mom and ask her to, to knit me a scarf because i'm not a knitter so that's what i'm gonna do with those so mom if you're watching this if you're watching this video mom look what i bought I want to try to knit a scarf. I thought it would go good with my leather coat. Yeah. The last items are the stuff that I got for my son for his place. So I got him one of these big uh, white boxes. I gave, I got him two sizes of Ziploc bags. Got him the, he's got to, he's got to leave with vanilla garbage bags. Aluminum foil. Uh, I got him some of the garlic pepper seasoning, some pepper, salt. I know I have at home. I got him a little salt and pepper shaker. And I got him three of these are like my favorite containers. I found them there. The little bit wider top ones, but I got him three of these with the lids. I also got him some toothpicks. 
a mesh laundry bag because evidently they don't have a washer dryer there so I'm sure he'll be coming home for laundry. Some pot holders, a couple of nice kitchen. Do you notice how I got them black because you know they're gonna get dirty anyways. And a couple of dish towels, drying dish towels. So that's all that's in that one. The last part of it, the last part of it was um, a cleaning container and this is more just all cleaning products. So it's basically, I got them a squeeze bottle. I got them a big thing of the awesome orange, a scrub brush, spick and span, palm olive original. And then I got them a cleaning cloth, an absorbent microfiber cleaning cloth, and then some Brillo basics. So yeah, so that's all I got in there. Like I said, I just wanted them to I just wanted them to have some kind of I try to think of I try to think of items that he probably wouldn't think of normally to purchase. You know, like a typical guy wouldn't think to purchase that. So I don't know. Anyways, that is it for my haul today, guys. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Joanne. Nice to meet you. If you're new, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to come back. And when you subscribe, you'll get notified as to when I upload new videos. If you're not new, if you've been subscribed for me a while, you know I appreciate you. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I love reading your comments. Keep them coming. I love chatting it up in the comments with you guys. So please make sure you drop me a comment and say hello below. If you like these type of videos, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up so that I know, hey, I like these videos. If there's any other type of videos you guys want to see from me, please leave that down in the comments below so that I know because I'm in the process of coming up with some additional, additional channel content ideas and I would love to your input so leave it in the comments below you can also follow me on all my other social media i am at joanne plans on instagram snapchat periscope and twitter you guys be awesome enjoy the rest of your day and i'm gonna chat with you in my next video bye guys